Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. At this moment, let us be able to come to a place and allow the presence of God to enter into our lives. Let us allow His Holy Spirit to lift us up. Use that our heavy burden right now. We pray right now that God will lift you up in this very moment. That His hand will touch you. That He will lift you up in this very moment. May the anointing of Him fall down to give you the strength to continue to carry on in this moment. May He push you. May you strive and become successful. In the name of Jesus. Father, we need you, Lord. We need you, God. We need your strength, Father, in us, Lord. Lord, may you carry us, O oh God. Lord, may you lift the burdens, O oh God, on our shoulders, God. We give it to you, Father, in this moment, God. We give it to you, Lord. We give it to you, Lord. Cause you are my strength Strength like no other Strength like no other Reach out to me
of our lives, God. Lord, may you overflow amongst us, Jesus. As we are here, we need you, Father, more than ever, God. We bless you. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our God is so good. Our God is so awesome. And we thank him for all that he does for us. He is worthy of all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Thank you, Jesus. We lift you up, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to bring up our shepherd to be able to speak the word to us. At this time, can we welcome our shepherd, Pastor Charles, to the front.
Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us pray. It is a blessing, it is an honor for us to be part of the land of the living. And for that matter, we have to be grateful. We have to be thankful. Prayer is a means of communication. Sometimes we pray when we are even asleep. We have the opportunity to talk to God whilst we are asleep. Sometimes it occurs as a dream when God is talking to us in our dream. Sometimes we also have the opportunity to talk to God in our dream. And sometimes whilst we are awake, we also have the chance to talk to God. We call it prayer. Let us pray. Yes. Father, we thank you so very much for your love, your kindness, your grace. This afternoon we come before you as broken vessels. We know you are our God. You created us in your own image. And there is a purpose. There is an assignment. And this afternoon we ask that wherever we are, what needs to be added, what needs to be revealed, what needs to be inter interpreted, what needs to be executed. We are standing in line. Our Father, pass us not by. Be merciful unto us that the words of our hearts, Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever scripture you will give unto us to meditate upon, Pray that it will become a living thing. It will manifest. It becomes tangible. It becomes a thing that helps others, that heals, that restores. That your name be magnified and glorified. There is none like you. And we thank you for choosing us. Thank you for giving us life. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our loved ones. Thank you for our leaders, our mothers, our spiritual leaders, 
and our biological leaders. We thank you for this Zion. Thank you for this church. This family you have created for us. We thank you for this city called City of Reading, the state of Pennsylvania, and the country called United States of America. We thank you for our leaders, our president, his cabinet, all those who have been duly elected to represent and to manage things that will make our life easier. We lift prayer for all of them. We lift prayer for all our spiritual leaders. In the name of Jesus, we pray that the sons of anarchy who are marching to disrupt, destroy, and take us back, Pray that this afternoon, let them be halted. Pray that you disarm them. Give us revelation, the upper hand, that that which you began in us, Father, in the name of Jesus, by your revelation, you on our side, that we shall have the upper hand, that we are the overcomers. We are the head, not the tail. We are above, not beneath. Any gathering of people, any network, any system that seems to have the upper hand to accuse in the name of Jesus, to accuse our leaders, our fathers and mothers, we are praying that such net networks in the name of Jesus will be jammed, will not have the upper hand, the influence to divide us. The word said that they, are, they will target the shepherd. And when they smite the shepherd, the flock will be scattered. We've seen it before our own eyes, how they came into our families and they caused divorces. They scattered our fathers and our mothers. And we, the children, became vagabond. Street children. On drugs, smoking, and became prostitutes. That's the agenda of the enemy. They are targeting the churches, targeting our fathers and mothers. But today we are standing in the gap that we will not allow it to happen. And we are petitioning you through prayer today that let their schemes in the name of Jesus be jammed, their networks be destroyed, their voices be shattered. Anything they lean on, any platform they have, but that we are praying that today they will not have a say. They will not have the will. They will not have the zeal. They will not have the influence. They will not have the power in the name of Jesus to afflict our leaders, afflict our family in the name of Jesus. Let the church stand. Let the church be empowered. Let the church cover those who visit <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. If you believe it, put your hands together for the Lord wherever you are. Amen. I bring you greetings from Action Chapel, Pennsylvania. Amen. And on behalf of our Bishop, Bishop Kibio, too, we bring you greetings. May God bless you, our own Papa, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Wherever he is, we send greetings from this side of the world. Amen. Amen. And uh, his sons and daughters on this side, we are praying, believing God, <clears throat> that God will continue to protect and using greatly. Amen. Amen. We learn a lot from him. Amen. That promotion only comes at a fierce battle. Yes. And they shall also come to pass. Yes. Amen. Amen. Today I want to spend some few minutes with you and to share the word of the Lord with you. And I pray that wherever you are, you take some few minutes to hear this word. And then if you have to write it, some things down, write it down and apply it to your own life. Apply it to your own family. Amen. Because there are certain stages we only hear the word and we think that it is for other people. And then we ask God, why me? Why are you not using me? Why are you not healing me? Why are you, you not doing something for my family? Mm -hmm. It is the application of the, of the word. You know, you can go to the doctors. But if the doctor gives you a prescription, you have to go to the pharmacist to pick it up. After that, you have to look at the label and then follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. And then you have to take the medication. Then you see a result, or you see a change. Or you have a healing, if it's coming from the doctors. Mm -hmm. If it's coming from the, the, from the supernatural, God also gives instructions. Mm -hmm. You know, God also talks to you directly 
as to how you can receive your healing. Mm -hmm. So it is the application. Mm -hmm. But how do we receive application? How do we receive information? How do we get access to information? And how do we have the zeal and the passion to apply? To apply? Some of us, we have a lot of visions and dreams and things that we want to do. But the zeal which comes from the Lord to start that step is not there. So today, this afternoon, God is going to help us. So the title of today's message is, There is More to It. Hallelujah. There is more to it. Yeah. So don't just hear this word by yourself. I want you to share. I want you to host. And I want you to invite a friend. And say, my church, especially if you are ACP, my church is sharing a message that I think can impact your life. Today is the 12th of the month of uh, July, the seventh month, the 12th, the 12th day in the year 2020. And we believe strongly, ACI or ACP, we believe strongly that this is our year Amen. of possession. Yes. This is our year yes. that those who started before us, mocked us and teased us, the overtaking anointing has been released. And I pray that wherever you are, you receive that grace to overtake. Amen. You receive that grace to build. Yes. I believe that this we are in the season and the decade or decades to come that God will use you to build. We are in the season of building. So it's not just this year. I believe that from this year to the next three or to six decades, you will see that those who are called underdogs will rise up and do something great. Families who have been abandoned, rejected, you see them and their children doing great things. Cities, towns, nations that have been afflicted, crying to God all these years, you see that God will begin to do something for those cities and towns and countries. You know, so I believe strongly that we live in the greatest season uh, in, on God's calendar. Amen. The Bible said there was a time that over 400 years after Israel had, had returned, from Egypt, God started doing something new. Amen? Amen. And it's been over 400 years now. And God has started a new thing. Amen. And I pray that you arise. Yes. Let go of the offense. Yes. Let go of what will cause a distraction. Amen. Focus on Christ. Yes. Focus on the message. Yes. Focus on your family. Yes. Focus on good health. And God will use you to do a greater things. Amen? There is more to it. So the, the fact that there is more to it, let us go and find out what is hidden mm -hmm. that we need to add to what we have to break to break out and do a great things. But before I go to the, the book of Matthew chapter number 13, and uh, I want to tell you a story. Last, uh, last two months, uh, the men's ministry we've been talking about buying bikes. We said every, all the men should buy bikes. We want to go bike riding. And we want to, we want to, you know, build a good relationship with our brothers in the church. So everybody should get a bike. So I, uh, I we've been hunting for bikes for for some reason this summer. Everywhere you go, you don't find a bike. So fortunately, uh, my nephew helped me to secure one online. I was rushing. The bike came. I wanted to fix the bike. You know me. I'm 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 not a kid, but I'm you know. I behave like a child sometimes when I see a new thing. So I was so excited and I didn't even look at the manual. I started putting things together. It got to a point that I was stuck. I couldn't fix the front tire. So here I'm calling people, hey, Rafi, can you fix a bike? He said, no. Hey, who can fix? I called Mike. Mike is 40 minutes away. I said, hey, can you come and help? We tried it, we put it on, but it wasn't working. I tried to do a test ride and I realized that the I was, I'm, 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 I was even fortunate because of my height, I couldn't fall. I could have landed on the ground mm -hmm. because whilst I was going, the steering wasn't locked in. So it just twisted. So I just jumped off it. So I took it to, I took it to, I called Walmart. You know, I bought it from Walmart online. So they said, oh, bring it in. I took it in there. I, I pushed it in. By the time I was leaving, I had to lift it. The guy even messed it up. <laughs> I was even better, you know. So they said I should return the bike. But what he said was that there was a part that was missing. That didn't come with it. Oh, wow. 
So because of that, it, it's, it can't be stable. So I should return the bike, and then they will refund the money, and I should reorder. So that little piece that was not there could not give stability for the mm -hmm. bike, for me to ride the bike. Mm -hmm. There was a part that is missing. There is something that is missing. Mm -hmm. You know, you receive a dream, revelation, but something is missing that is making the thing complex for you. You are getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. But today, by, the, the, by divine authority and by the Spirit of God, whatever that is missing, that you need that peace that you need, mm -hmm. I pray that God will give it to you today. Amen. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That you will not rest wherever you go. Somebody must tell you what is missing. Yes. Somebody must make you feel comfortable that don't worry about it. I mean, they were so nice to me. They said, no, don't worry. I just go, take it there. You know, you have your, your, your receipt, right? But then a few minutes, you know, they took the bike, they refund the money, and guess what? I'm getting a new bike. You see how God works. Mm. There are physical structures. If you believe that on, on our land here, you can buy a thing and take it back, and they'll refund the money, or you can buy a new thing, that in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of God, is the same structure. Mm. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's the, as it is in heaven, let it also be on the earth. Mm -hmm. So every structure that works for you and I, mm -hmm. you as a Christian should not take it lightly when we are talking about kingdom structure, mm -hmm. kingdom principle. Mm -hmm. The reason why I believe strongly that most of us as Christians get disadvantaged is because of the fact that we think that it's just easy just going to church. Mm -hmm. It's just easy saying that I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. but you don't know that <laughs> there are protocols mm -hmm. you must follow, mm -hmm. principles you must apply. Mm -hmm. So let's take our Bibles and let's go to the book of Matthew chapter number 13, 10 to 15. Mm -hmm. There is more to it. Hallelujah. That is the caption of our, our message today. There is more to it. So let's, let's find out what is what is written here, and let's see how God can help us interpret it. Amen. Matthew 13, 10 to 15 says, Then the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, To you it has been not given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to let them, to, but to them it has not been given. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's break it down little by little. Mm -hmm. The disciples, the followers of Jesus Christ, they have left everything, their, their, their families, their jobs, and then they are following Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. A young man. They are following him. This is not like Moses or Abraham, old people. Jesus is a young man. Mm -hmm. You know, and he came, and all of a sudden, people have left their jobs, their family to follow him. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the assignment has no size, has no age. When your time is up, it's up. And I believe that your time is up. Your time is up to break through. Your time is up because you are a follower of Christ. You are a believer. Your time is up for you to rise up and be healed. Yeah. Rise up and begin to do something that will energize, motivate, and encourage your children. Yeah. You cannot be bedridden. You cannot be afflicted. You cannot be bound by poverty. Mm -hmm. Lack of knowledge. Whatever it is that holds you captive this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you pray, Yes. As you surrender, as you ask, let revelation come. Yes. Sometimes we have to ask. The Bible said, we sh you shall ask and it shall be given. Amen. The disciples are activating Rema word. Amen? He said, ask and it shall be what? Given. They are asking the question. Why do you always speak in parables? Hallelujah. Why do you what? Speak in parables. Why do you always speak in parables? Mm -hmm. Why do you al always speak, you know, in parentheses? You put things in, you know, like in, in parentheses, in, com in invented comments. Mm -hmm. You know, why do you do that? And then what is the explanation he's given? And he answered and said to them, because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Yes. But to them, it is not given. Yes. There is more to it, my brothers and my sisters. The fact that you are following me, you have the chance to ask me a question. Mm -hmm. Because I'm the one who spoke the word. Mm -hmm. And I'm the one who will give you the meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. In other words, I'm the one who said, I love you. 
So you have to ask me why I love you. What does it mean when I said to you that I loved you? What are the benefit? What do you want to do for me? What do you have to give to me? Mm -hmm. And I will tell you five years from today, if we tarry, if we work on this, this is what will be the harvest, and I will give it to you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just hijack the work, but we don't want the work that will bring the harvest. Mm -hmm. Things that are fighting our relationship today is because of the fact that we just receive the word. I love you, I love you too. Then, then the next thing is like, what do you have for me? Mm -hmm. And you must encourage me to build. Mm -hmm. Motivate me to build. Then when I receive, then I will give. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It is hidden. Mm -hmm. You see? It is, it is hidden. But because we are sons and daughters of the Almighty God, he said, look, you will get the revelation. How do we get the revelation? Because we will ask him. Yes. So wherever you are, whatever it is that you need, you have to ask God. Mm -hmm. You have to ask him. Mm -hmm. Don't assume. God knows, but he wants you to ask. Jesus knew that these guys don't understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But because they were students, they asked the master. So the more, the, as long as you and I come to the realization that we are children of God, we are students, and every day, day in and day out, we must ask and we must behave as students, there is nothing that is hidden that will cause a breakthrough, that will change your life, that God will not reveal to you. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. He said it is hidden <laughs> by you you shall discover. Yes. You shall what? Discover. discover. There are some people, their anointing is for them to discover. Hmm. Hmm. The grace God has given them is that you be here, you try, you try, you don't see, you don't hear, you don't do. But they come and then they say, oh, let's put it this, this way. Let's go and talk to this people. Before you realize they are building. Hmm. There is a grace, and I pray that let that grace come upon you. Amen. May you receive the same grace yes. that you begin to decode things practically, to change things, mm -hmm. that your life will not be the same, your family's life will not be the same, Amen. the city in which you live because of your presence will not be the same. Mm -hmm. Be a solution in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's continue. It says, you know, for to the one who has, more will be given, mm -hmm. and he will have an abundance. Mm -hmm. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. You see, it's scary, right? Mm -hmm. The one who has it and has placed value on it, more will be given unto, unto the person. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And the one who has it, but does not know the value of it, it will be taken away. Mm. Amen? Amen. And I pray that whatever God has given you shall not be taken away. Your wife will not be taken away. Amen. Your husband will not be taken away. Your Amen. parents will not die before their time. Amen. You will not be, you will not, you will not, you will not bury, you will not bury your children. Amen. You will not bury your wife, you will not bury your husband. Amen. They will live long, you will live long. Amen. You will prosper. Amen. Poverty will not afflict you no more. Yes. The gifts, the ancient, the discernment, the power mm. to discover things, yes. not just to be peddling stories. You know, in our generation, we, we can read and write. So as for information, we have it. But we don't know what we are doing with the information. Mm. We don't know what we are doing with the information. And it's even frustrating us. You understand? We have so many books. We have read so many books. But we are stuck. I pray that anything that has held you hostage, that you will not have the peace of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, that you possess a land, you do something that you can also turn around and see that God has done something for you. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus, let that be your portion. Yes. Yes. Today in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. Wait, where are you? Therefore I speak. This is why I speak. 
Uh -huh. This is why I speak to them in, in parables. Mm -hmm. Because seeing they do not see, mm -hmm. and hearing they do not hear, mm -hmm. nor do they understand. Mm -hmm. Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled. It says, you will indeed hear, but never understand. And you will indeed see, but never perceive. You see? So God has spoken these things already. Mm -hmm. From the beginning of time. Yes. It is what it is. Yes. So those of us who want to do something for with our lives, in the life of our families, we must know that these are the blocks, the roadblocks. Yes. And for us to re remove these blocks, the impediment, we must what? Go to God. Yes. We must ask questions. Mm -hmm. We must ask our parents. Mm -hmm. We must ask our leaders. Yes. Mom, why did grandfather fail in this area? You know, Dad, why didn't you do this when you were young? Mm -hmm. And they were explained to you. But so the fact that sometimes when our parents explain their failures to us, we don't want to hear the solution. Yeah. We get upset. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then they are looking at you and say, son, don't do that, don't do that, you fail. So leave me alone. See, when you are young, you think that you can do all things. Mm -hmm. You can do all things only through Christ Jesus Christ. You can do all things when God reveals to you. And when God is even revealing to you, you have to go back and fix. Mm -hmm. You have to go back and restore. He's not giving it to you and I for us to be arrogant and prideful. He's mm -hmm. giving it to us for others to be, to be blessed. Mm -hmm. For others to be happy. For mm -hmm. us to rescue people, restore people. Yeah. May that be your portion, your attitude, your mindset today in the name yeah. of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let's continue. For this people's heart has grown dull. And with her ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed, lest they shall see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I will heal them, and I would heal them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you turn, you turn to who? You turn to Christ. Yes. You turn, you look at your life and say, My life cannot be like this forever and ever. There must be a change in my life. Amen. When you turn, when you have a change of heart, God said, I will heal you. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. when you turn, why are you turning? You are turning that look, God, heal me for my children. You know, give me a financial breakthrough so that I can be there for my children. Yes. I can be there for my family. Mm -hmm. Bless me so that I can also champion the cause of the church. Yes. You know, sometimes people come and attack the church so, so fiercely these days. Mm -hmm. But I thank God that we live in a country where there is freedom of religion. Yes. You know? Because where I come from, had it not been the churches. Mm -hmm. Had it not been the churches. When you turn here, Roman Catholic school, you turn here, Presbyterian school, Presbyterian church, Presbyterian hospital, had mm -hmm. it not been the church, some of us, we have forgotten so soon. Mm. We have forgotten so soon. The offering they took, they built schools. Yeah. The offering they took, they built hospitals. Yes. And sometimes I sit, I, I sit down and I said, I did not be in the church. They are not perfect. Mm -hmm. But had it not been them, some of us wouldn't be here today. Amen. Because the government was limited. Even subsidies they couldn't pay. Mm. As the churches were, the churches were running the school, they said, government, don't worry about it. Just give subsidies. Subsidize what we are doing. Mm -hmm. They couldn't even pay. Mm. And I remember secondary school, five solid years. I don't remember one term that we, we stayed in school for the end of the, of the term. Mm. They will tell you government subsidy has been delayed, has been canceled, there's no money. So instead of youth finishing school December 14, you have to go home December 1st. Mm. We are forgotten. Mm. We are forgotten. Yes. When we forget God. Mm. When you forget the sacrifice of your mother and your father, what do you think will happen mm. when you become a father? Mm. When do you become a father? Sometimes we become so excited when we, we, we have money. Mm -hmm. When we have a better job, mm -hmm. when we have a nice car, we forget so soon. Mm -hmm. May you not forget. Amen. May we not forget yes. mm -hmm. those who laid the foundation for us. Those who sacrifice for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Yes. Amen. Amen. Jesus is saying that there are certain things that are hidden. Yes. It's a mystery. Yes. But they were curious. Every student might be curious. Mm -hmm. To become great, you must be curious. You must have this curious 
IQ, mm -hmm. where you have to ask strategic questions. Mm -hmm. You are not asking to be arrogant and prideful. You are asking because this life, there are impediments. Mm -hmm. There is trouble everywhere. Mm -hmm. But with that revelation, you will not know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With that revelation, that missing piece in that bicycle, the bicycle is standing solid. I took it around. Everybody who saw the bicycle said, wow, did you buy it here? Mm -hmm. Wow, this is nice. Because 29 inches tie, solid bike. Mm -hmm. But there was just one small piece that was missing. I couldn't ride it. You know, if I had taken the risk, I would have, I would have injured myself. Mm -hmm. Don't go ahead of your time and afflict mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. your family. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Make sure that all the pieces come together. Yes. Make sure that whatever God wants you to do, all the nuggets come together. So when you start, people are being imparted. Mm -hmm. When you start, people are being blessed. But you not go ahead of God and then afflict other people. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. He said, this is a prophecy that has been, that, 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 that is fulfilled. Yes. It, it's, it's there. Yes. Isaiah 610 yes. prophesied yes. that this is what it is. Yes. That in hearing, they will hear. But the decoding, they will not be able. Seeing, they will see. Right. And they will not be able to what? Understand anything or see anything that is spiritual, mm -hmm. that is hidden, that is a mystery. They will not. Yes. But today, Amen. may the Lord, yes. because you have stopped and turned around, may yes. God open your spiritual eyes. Yes. Yes. For you to have a spiritual eye to decode, yes. see those who are on the side of, of God. Those who God has released for a time such as this yes. to help you to get to the next level. Yes. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. May you not come across the wrong people. Yes. May you come across the right people. Yes. Those who do nothing yes. to hurt you. Yes. But those who will make sure that whatever it is that you want to get done, accomplished in this life, yes. I pray that they will be restless. The divine yes. connectors are always restless. Yes. They are always thinking about you. Yes. They are always gathering information for you. Yes. That's what they are. They are born to do. Yes. They are here to stand in the gap for you. There are people who are very close, mm. but they can't do anything for you. Mm. But there are some people who are coming. God is raising you from afar to come and build. When the walls of Jericho was being rebuilt, Nehemiah had to come far away to come and build. Mm. Ezra must come from far away to, to come mm. and build. Yes, yeah. Who was this? Who were these prophets? There were seven. Mm. There were seven another king. Mm. There were seven another country. But they got permission. They, they had the seal of the president of the country that as they travel from country to country, when they come across a barrier, when they come across troops, when they show this letter, give them access. There are barriers in this life. There are walls. When Israel was approaching Jericho, even though they knew that the promise and the time is right, the Bible said there was a wall called the walls of Jericho. That was a strong wall, fortified wall. But how did the wall break? The wall broke when the angel of the Lord was ahead of them. Not all of them saw it, but the one who was in charge, the shepherd, Joshua, lifted his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord with a sword in his hand. And he said, are you for us or you are against us? He said, look, you are so slow. I've been waiting for you for a long period of time. Now follow me. We talk about the trumpet. No, it is the angel of the Lord giving instruction to Joshua as to what to do. Mm. Who is giving you instructions? Mm. Mm. Who is speaking to you? Mm. Do you even obey at all? Uh. Whose voice, whose instruction are you following this season? There is more to it, my brothers and my sisters. Mm. It, is, it is not what it is that you see that is complete. Mm. There is something deeper that you don't know. And let the deeper things of God concerning your life, yes. anything that will change your life, yes. change your health, yes. give you longevity, yes. give you prosperity, yes. give you access. I pray today yes. in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. through this medium of exchange, yes. receive the grace yes. to engage God, yes. to encounter God, yes. receive the revelation. Yes. Receive, receive access, yes. receive the foundation, receive, receive resources, receive have it. access and yes. breakthrough. Yes. The name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to Matthew 13, 24 to 30. Matthew 13, 20, uh -huh. 24 to 30 says, yes. He put another parable before them, saying, mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in mm -hmm. his field. But while his men, his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. Mm -hmm. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared also. And the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have weeds? And he said to them, An enemy has done this. So the servant said to him, "Then do you want us to do? Uh, then do you want us to go and gather them?" But he said, "No, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn." Uh huh. That is more to it, my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. What you see sometimes can make you scared. Yes. What you see sometimes can make you feel like what you have labored for will not bring the desired outcome. Sometimes you can look at your marriage and say, Hey God, the way I used to feel, I used to be all over my husband. I used to be all over my wife. But the way I feel these days is not the same. I used to believe that my children would be great and would be there for me. Yes. But the way I see them today, the way they are acting and behaving, God. Mm. The way I used to go about things and run and jumping, you know, I'm, I was a go-getter, but right now I am tired. Mm. The way I used to be passionate about church, go there and help people by these days. The way I used to get up and pray and fast these days. Mm. These days. These days. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is that you are still passionate. Yes. The good thing is that you have worked. Yes. The good thing is that you are sold. Yes. The good thing is that you are planted. Yes. And you are asking mm. God for the deep patterns. Mm -hmm. You are asking God about the why. But I pray that you not be arrogant and challenging God and walking away on God. Amen. Don't walk away on your family. Amen. Don't walk away on the church. Amen. Promotion does not come unless you do something unique on the job. Amen. Promotion does not come when you keep skipping job. Not finishing the assignment. Promotion doesn't come like that. That's right. So just don't get the people heart, the honor. Because they, 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 they skip training. That's right. Or when war comes and they are dispatched, they tell they go and hide somewhere. Hmm. Purple heart is not given like that. That's right. It is given not only when you fight. It's not given only when you fight, but it is given when you do exceptionally good bravery and yes. part of bravery. Yes. We are living in a generation where there's a great opportunity for us to cease, do something that our fathers cannot do. They are tired. Mm -hmm. They go to David and say, David, relax. We got this. Mm -hmm. Go back and go. They built a whole area for him. Protected the area and said, look, David, just give us your blessing. Let's go and deal with this guy. Mm -hmm. Let's go and deal with your own son, Absalom. Let's go and deal with those that he has succeeded in, in dividing mm -hmm. to follow them to take your seat. May God scatter those who are gathering yes. to come against your family, to come against the church, to come against our leaders. Yes. May we not be fighting every day, yes. but may the Lord fight your battles for you. Yes. May God fight your financial battles, yes. fight your health battles, yes. fight your marital battles, yes. fight the, the battle for the church, yes. fight the battle for the city, yes. fight the battle for the state, yes. fight the battle for the nation. Yes. Let God fight for you. The war didn't come. The war didn't come down. The battle wasn't won because they took sword and they were fighting. It was because of the angel of war. The angel of battle. Won the battle spiritually before the men even got there. The battle has been fought and won on the cross. You just have to ask God, where am I? What tool do I need? Who is who around me? And then he'll give you instructions and you see that the walls of Jericho in your life are falling. Amen. 
The issues that you thought that you could not overcome, you see that they will vanish. You see that there will be reconciliation. May your family come together. Yes. Let the spirit of reconciliation come. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said the parable of the Zohar. Mm -hmm. The parable of the Zohar. It is good that there was a master they went to, to ask. Who do you ask and who do you talk to when you are down? Who? You talk to God. There are some people who say, oh, I talk to God. You don't have to, I, you don't have to talk to nobody. You know, you, they are just men like you. No, no, no. You are getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. There are some people who are born with an IQ, with an assignment to, to encourage people. Mm -hmm. There are people who are around you. Their assignment is to just motivate you. There are some people around you, their assignment is to fight for you, intercede for you. They might not be the kind of guy that you want, they might not be eloquent, polished the way you want it, but the, in the realms of the spirit, they are giants. They overlook David, he's a teenager, he's, he's a small guy, but he was born to defeat Goliath. He fought a battle and received a purple heart. And he said, you know what, so just sit down, all of you, Marines, Navy SEAL, relax. I got this. Yes. I got this. We live in an era, we live in a season where the body of Christ must walk away from accusation and blame game to a point where we must be the Davids in our generation. Allow God to prepare us. Allow God to teach us. Allow us leaders to teach us. They might not have all together. But the one thing that they are born to do, that you need this is it. I pray that you will not walk out. I pray that you will not turn back. I pray that you face reality, knowing that God is on your side. May God come through for you. May God come through for your, for your family. May God come through for the church. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, at night when they were asleep, the enemy came and planted what? Tears. You know, and all of a sudden they started competing with the seed that they are planted. Yeah. And I can relate because I used to be a corn farmer. Mm -hmm. I used to plant corn, mm -hmm. big farm. Mm -hmm. And there are some plants when they are coming up like that, you think they are also corn. Mm -hmm. They are not. That's right. They are not. Mm -hmm. When you see millet and corn growing up from the early stages, you think that is corn. Mm -hmm. Until they, they, they begin to bear fruit, you will, you will not be able to di differentiate. Mm -hmm. So they panicked. I said, what kind of double work is this? Mm -hmm. So they went to the master, is that what we have planted? Mm -hmm. There are some land, they have been farmed mm -hmm. with different crops before. Years later, you decided to change and plant another mm -hmm. crop, right? Yeah. And then when you plant the one that you've you uh, you want yeah. when it start coming up, yeah. you realize that the old one that was planted years ago yeah. started coming up. Yeah. Have you experienced that before? Uh -huh. Because there are some seeds that they don't die. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you will not die. You will not die. Your mother will not die. That's right. Your father will not die. Yeah. Your right. children will not die. That's right. In the name of yeah. Jesus, yeah. anything yeah. that the enemy has used to cover you. Let it be uncovered. In the name of Jesus, let it be uncovered. In the name of Jesus, I uncover anything that afflicts, that covers my life, my health, my finance, my sight, my ear, my mouth. In the name of Jesus, I uncover it through prayer by the hand of the Lord. I uncover it. I will speak what God has released in my mouth. In the name of Jesus, if you believe it, put your hands together Amen. for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Are, are, you, are, you, are you getting help? Yes. Are, we, are we being helped today? Yes. The parable of the Zohar, at night when we were asleep, when you became idle, when you take your eyes off your calling, your assignment, your roles and responsibility, something happened. Yes. When you take your eyes off your marriage, something happened. When you decided to always disagree, something happened. Mm -hmm. There are some people you get to a place where all you do is just disagree. Mm -hmm. All you do is like, no, no. After a while, you see that 
Now, what you desire is not what is manifesting. The attitude of your husband will change. The attitude of your wife will change. The attitude of people who are following will change because you have desired to do something that will not bring a positive outcome. Today I pray yes. that you go back to your first love. Yes. Every covenant you have made, every vow you have made to God as a child of God, yes. may you ask God how yes. to, re to receive insight revelation, resources yes. for you to be relevant in your family yes. relevant in the church yes. in the name of Jesus we pray with thanksgiving I like the counsel of the wise man he said don't worry yourself mm -hmm. wait till the harvest mm -hmm. we shall cut down the dead we shall burn them mm -hmm. <laughs> and that which we have planted we shall save them and restore them mm -hmm. We are praying that anything that has been planted or you have been exposed to physically or spiritually, don't wrestle with it. Mm -hmm. Monitor them quick, quietly. Mm -hmm. Those people who are snares, accusers, tormentors, who take your name to places, gossip all the time, just watch them closely. Mm -hmm. The energy you have to fight them, use that energy to concentrate on the work. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on the family. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on learning. Concentrate on discovering. That's how the enemy scatters. The, the wise man said, don't worry about the deaths. Don't worry about them. Mm -hmm. It's a scheme. It's a diabolic agenda to divert, to distract, and to use your resources to work on something that you don't want. Mm -hmm. That will not bring positive outcome. That will not bring harvest. When others are buying homes, the enemy will fight you so that your resources, your finance, is what? Is, 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 is veered towards something else. Mm -hmm. When you want to buy a car, the enemy will get your attention that use your money to do this thing. At the end of the day, there is nothing there. Mm -hmm. That's right. And he said, don't react. Mm -hmm. Don't respond. Yes. The first night, I always advise people, any New Year resolution you write, write it down. Every month, read it. Mm -hmm. Revise it. Yes. And ask God, it's, first, it's the first three months. What else do I, what else do, I do? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he will, he will start you with the work. He will not give you any results. Every day work. Get up, fast. Get up, pray. Go to this office. Make this phone call. Write these things down. Every day work, 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 work. I like it like that. Mm -hmm. I like it when God puts me to work. I like it when God is just giving me work, 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 work. I like it. I'm always panicking when God is always giving me results. Testimony, miracle. <laughs> I'm always afraid. Hmm. Because the day that he will get you, get hold of you, and start you with an assignment. If you are not, if you don't have the spirit of humility in you, because the miracles makes you feel like you're on top of the world. Yeah, that's true. The miracles feel like, you know what, I'm the smartest person. The miracles feel like, oh, my title. No, I cannot go and sweep. I can't go and say sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's only the meek. Mm -hmm. It's only the students of, of, of God. Mm -hmm. It's only those who follow. The disciples, they follow Jesus Christ. Three mm -hmm. and a half years, always asking questions. Always learning. At night. Mm -hmm. During our walk, I asked a question the other day. What was the last time as a child of God, follower of Christ, who is on assignment, that you stood up at night, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., studying the word of God, asking God for revelation, asking God for application. The Bible said, but we say we are children of what? Abraham. We are descendants of Jacob. Mm -hmm. The Bible said Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord all night. All night. Right. And then what did he do? He got revelation. There is more to it about his life, about his name, about his purpose. Mm -hmm. That I have Esau, who is older than me. But I'm Jacob. I have a controversial life. I have to fight. I have to be isolated. I have to be cheated. I have to cheat. I have to do so many things. Who am I? It took an all-night battle for Jacob to know who he was. Mm -hmm. What was the last time you said, today, I'm just going to give myself to study, 
Not steady for other people, not steady to go and preach, but to steady for myself. Steady for my family. Revelation for myself, my future, the church, the business, the future of my family. There is more to it, my brothers and my sisters. And sometimes maybe the church will not give it to you. Maybe your father will not give it to you. But God will give it to you. Amen. God will give it to you if you want to wrestle like Jacob. There is a wise man who is next to you. Will you take counsel from him? Mm. There is a wise woman next to you. Will you take counsel from her? They work for him. And they took that counsel. I pray that your resources will not be scattered. Yes. Any resources, every access, any key that God has given you, yes. I pray that it shall not be wasted. Yes. The Bible said the battle is the Lord. The battle is not yours. That's right. It is tempting sometimes when the anointing comes, when the favor comes, when the money comes. It is tempting to do things to prove to others who have counted you out. It is tempting, but that's not the purpose. That's right. The purpose is the end result. Yes. May you not be distracted. Yes. They will come to trick you. Yes. Do this. Buy this. Let's do this. Let's invest in this. Mm -hmm. But is that the reason why God has given you the breakthrough? The reason why God has given you the, the breakthrough is what you have to fight for. Mm -hmm. Is what you have to defend. The rest is not necessary. Some of us, we have made some big mistakes, not because God did not speak to us, mm -hmm. but we couldn't handle the distraction. Mm -hmm. We couldn't handle those who come and put pressure on us that don't spend money here, come and do this, come and do that. By the time we woke up, everything God gave us, we lost it. May you not lose again. Yes. Yes. May you not lose again. Say, I will not lose again. I will not, lose again. I will not be distracted will again. Not be distracted because again. there is more to it. More more to it. it. And God is giving me God is revelation, 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 keys, keys. interpretation. My life my will life. never be the same. Be the same. I, am the head, I am the head, not the tail. The tail. Above, Above, not beneath. I am, I am a child of God. Watch, redeemed redeem. by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, God has filled me God has filled with, his spirit, with His Spirit to do good. To do good. Henceforth, Henceforth, wherever I go, wherever I, go I shall do good. I shall do good. The, the sick will be healed. The, sick will be the healed. homeless will find the shelter. Will find the shelter. naked will be clothed. They shall be, they shall a, be performance a performance of my God. Of my God. Through, me, Through me, my city will, will change. My family will change in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go quickly to 37. Verse 37. Matthew 13, 37 says, yes. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. Here's the interpretation. Uh -huh. The field is the world, and the good seed is the sons of the kingdom. Yeah. The weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. Mm -hmm. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Mm -hmm. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, mm -hmm. so will it be at the end of the age. The mm -hmm. Son of Man will send his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him hear. There is more to it. He who has what? Yes. yes. Don't you have a year? Yes. But why don't you hear? Mm -hmm. Why don't you hear about the next breakthrough that God is putting together. Mm -hmm. Why don't you hear about the next job opening? Why don't you hear about the girl who you can marry and your life will change? Mm -hmm. Why don't you? How, how, why haven't you heard mm -hmm. about what God is doing? Mm -hmm. You see, our generation, we are blessed that we know a little bit about the past. Mm -hmm. We are blessed to know the future, but we are lost. In terms of the now. Yes, the we are confused now. Yes. May the chain of oppression. Yes. May the chain yes. that hinders be broken. be broken. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, I will be with you to the end of time. He is with us. So if we don't know what he's saying and what he's doing, we are disadvantaged. Our fathers told us about what their fathers did. So we know about that. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we are stuck just because of the past narrative. Mm -hmm. 
We are fighting because the battle, the Bible said the battle is not yours. So anytime you take the old narrative to fight the new, your future is black. Mm. But if you take the old and you understand what God is doing now, and you do something now, your future is better. Amen. But if you also know the old stuff and you have assurance about the future, but you are so stubborn today by hoping that tomorrow will be better, it also doesn't work like that. Hmm. It doesn't work like that. Mercy. God is calling you and I now. Yes. God is calling you and I to sin. Yeah. God is saying that before you were clothed in your mother's womb, I knew you that you are the one who will change your family. Hmm. You are the one who will change your future. Yes. You are the one who will change your city. Hmm. You are the one who will change this country. So I pray that you and I, if you are watching me today, as a believer, anointed vessel of God, mm. our assignment is not to be accusers. Our assignment is not for us to sabotage. Our assignment is to come that when we show up what we are saying, our counsel is calming people down. Our counsel is bringing people together. That is the unique gift that defines those who are with Christ. May you not be a warrior fighting the kingdom of children. Yes. May you not be a snare. May you not be an accuser. Mm -hmm. May you not be a curse. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, every yes. curse over your life, yes. that wherever you go, things are destroyed. Yes. Wherever you go, you destroy marriages, you destroy mm -hmm. families, you destroy businesses. Mm -hmm. I pray that that yoke will be broken. Be broken. And I pray that not as an agenda or a messenger of Satan, will be despite your marriage, despite your church, despite your children, despite your family to afflict you. Have the upper hand when they come. Descend, have the advanced knowledge. But before they come, Father, be still that the messenger that God sends to those people who were farming. That said, let them also grow together. The end. The Bible said the world, he was using that parable to talk about the world. That there are so many of us they are children of destruction, children of anarchy, rude, disrespectful. And there are children who are obedient. Mm -hmm. There are children who always want to rise up and do. Mm -hmm. are, these are not people who complain. I used to complain. Mm -hmm. I used to complain to God all the time. God, why did you give birth to me in this family? Mm -hmm. Why am I suffering in this family? Why all this, this, this spirit like poverty? Why do I have to suffer like that? But little did I know that you have to be built first. Yes. You have to be exposed to poverty. You have to be exposed to sickness. Yes. And then you have to survive all these things for you to come and say that uh, he that lives in me yes. is greater than he that lives in the world. Amen. Whatever God is using to prepare you, embrace it. When you get up in the morning, say that God is with me. When you get up in the morning, say, I have survived another battle. Yes. In the name of, it's a journey. Every stage in the, in, on, this, on this journey, there will be a test. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, pray and watch that you do not fall into what? Temptation. Yes. You see, we are spirit-led human beings. We are led to a place of darkness, but we are the light of the world. Amen. So when we go into the, what is the darkness? Darkness is a problem. Yes. Darkness is a limitation. Yes. Darkness is a wall. Yes. Darkness is a barrier. Darkness is that nobody in this city has done this before. Mm -hmm. So don't even try. Nobody in our family has done this thing before. That is a darkness. But because yes. God has prepared you, mm -hmm. you, have, you have done the physical work. Yes. You have humbled yourself. Yes. You have not complained. You have not sabotaged the work. Mm -hmm. When you show up there, somebody will tell you, we've never done this before. Mm -hmm. But it looks like you can do it. Amen. So we'll give you the chance. Amen. You look, I, I believe in your vision. So because of that, I will do it for you. Amen. May you be a different a game changer. May yes. you change the destiny yes. of your family. Yes. May you stand in the gap. Anytime yes. you show up, let the messengers of God in the government institutions, in the yes. public sector, when you show up, may they give you resources, information yes. to move forward. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And those who have also been positioned yes. in places like this, when you show up, let them be shut up. Let them be shut up. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let, them, let them be shut. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let every structure they build to sabotage you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, we are kingdom children. Say, I am a kingdom child. I am a kingdom child. child.
Say, I'm a kingdom child. I'm a kingdom child. I'm a kingdom child. I'm a kingdom child. I have access. I have access. For deeper things, for deeper things. Revelations. revelations, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. pray with thanksgiving, amen? amen, let's take our Bibles quickly, let's go to the book of 1 Kings chapter number 3, amen. verses 3 to 4, you see there are deeper things, there is more to it, amen? amen, there is more to this life, there is more to marriage, there is more to just being a child of God, being a pastor, apostle, a prophet, there is more to it, you know, there is more to it. Don't be, don't, don't, uh, just one second. Don't be discouraged as a messenger of God. It is not easy, but don't be discouraged. There is more to it because God has not called us to be in charge. God has called us to be messengers. Yes. That's it. Yes. By the moment the enemy tricks you and I to make us feel as if we are mm -hmm. the boss, yes. then when God pulls back, then you see that you are carrying the burden. There are problems everywhere, yes. issues everywhere, yes. and you don't have the solution. Yes. We pray that God will be merciful and God's spirit will return. Yes. That the battle will be the Lord. Yes. That you can have peace on each side. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Let's read. First Kings 3, verses 3 to 4 says, mm -hmm. Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of David his father. Mm -hmm. Only he sacrificed and made offerings at high places. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. Mm -hmm. Solomon used to offer a thousand burnt offerings on that altar. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Three, three to four? Yeah, that was three to four. Okay. You see, Solomon loved the Lord. You love God. Yes. You love God. Do we love God with our mouths, lip service? Mm. If you love God, the Bible says he sacrificed. Yes. He was like Abel's kind of anointing. He gives the best to God. Yes. Because he knows his background. Yes. You see, if you are from if you are from a bad background and God is giving you breakthrough, please <laughs> mm. don't be excited. Mm. Some of the things that can cause you to break through and become great from a bad background if you keep your eyes on the Lord. Yeah. When you sacrifice, what does it mean to sacrifice? You are always there for other people. Yes. Not everybody, but the one that God has assigned to you. You can't help everybody in the world. You can pray for everybody, but there are some specific people God will send your way to help them, and you must help them. Mm. There are some people in your family that God wants you to stand in the gap for them. You must do it. He said he sacrificed for the Lord. The best part, Solomon. Why? Because Solomon <laughs> was given birth to by who? Bathsheba. 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 Bathsheba from Wenlock. Yes. So in the whole town, people look at this guy some way. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why Adonijah wanted to sit on the throne, not Solomon. Yeah. They said, you, 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 brought, you brought an embarrassment to, to my family and the whole city. Mm -hmm. You see? If you are from a bad background and you see that there's something unique about you, keep your eyes on the Lord. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Mm -hmm. And what you have belongs to God because you are different. You see, like, things that nobody in your family can have access to, you alone, you have it. That's right. That is a mark on you. Mm. That you, there's some unique favor upon your life. Amen. When you have that unique favor, it means that you are going to do something that nobody has done in your family. And the only way you can do it is when you keep your eyes on the Lord. When you give what belongs to God. When you surrender to God, when you ask God, mm -hmm. when you knock, anytime there is a contention, mm -hmm. you keep knocking, mm -hmm. you keep seeking. Even when the breakthrough is coming, you're still asking God, how do I use this? You have given me a wife, how do I relate to this woman? Yeah. You have given me a husband, how do I relate to this, this, this man? Mm -hmm. But sometimes the moment we, we, we get married, we take over. Wow. Mm -hmm. The moment we get the job, we take over. The moment the money is coming, we take over. Some of us, when the money comes, we don't even wait for three days mm. to pray for direction. Mm. As soon as the money comes, we call everybody. Hey, mm. I, I'm paid. Mm. And the people will dictate to you how the money should be used. Wow. God is not part of it no more. You see why we fail. Mm -hmm. But you are coming out of that curse. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. You are coming out of that place. Yes. You are having a new mindset. Yes. That you understand that there is more to it. Yes. There is a purpose why you are here. Why you are still healthy. Why you are still alive. There is a purpose. And may that purpose come to you. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's read 9 to 14. First Kings 3, 9 to 14 says... Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people. But before then, we, we four. 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 Well, we did three to four. Already. Three to, to five. Let's, let's, let's read uh, verse five. Okay. Verse five. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, ask what I shall give you. Yes. In a dream. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a dream, God appeared to him. That's why earlier on I said, look, sometimes God will talk to you whilst you are asleep. Sometimes God will talk to you when you are driving. He will talk to you when <laughs> he wants to talk to you. Yes. But you also talk to him when you want to talk to him. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you talk to him, you not say anything to you. But keep talking to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some people will say, Pastor, I pray and pray and nothing is happening. Keep talking. Keep asking. The day he comes, he will answer all the prayers. Amen. The day he comes, he will cause a, the, your life will change. Amen. He said, in a dream, God revealed himself yes. unto him. Yes. And then he said, ask mm -hmm. what I shall give you. Yes. He said, ask. Be, be, le, 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 listen, carefully. He said, ask what I shall give you. What I shall give. I have something I want to give you. You, you need something. Now ask me. And I will give you whatever you want. What shall I give you? Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of us. This is where we miss it. This is where we miss it. Mm. When you see that which will change your life. How do you approach it? Mm. How do you approach it? It's very key. When you are planted at a place that can change your life, the way you approach the place. Sometimes we are out of excitement. As young, as young, you know, ministers, sometimes we get very excited. Mm -hmm. But not knowing that we are, whatever we are doing, we are on a journey, we are seeking God, we want to encounter God. Mm -hmm. We also want to have the same experience that Solomon had. So whilst we are going, at any time, it can be night, day, in our sleep, God can reveal himself. He will not tell you when. Mm. He did not tell Solomon when he is coming. Mm -hmm. There is more to it. And he said, what shall I give you? Because this man loved the Lord. When you read from the first verse, he said that he went to Egypt and ma married Pharaoh's daughter. Okay, so the guy is very, very sharp. He's, he likes good things. He went to marry a princess, brought her to Israel. The next thing he did was that he's building a whole empire, city. A house for himself. And he's taking 13 years to build his own house. At the same time, he's building a house for the Lord. The Bible said it took him seven years. And then he sacrificed. Are you seeing the formation? There is more to it. So if you want more, if you want to be used in this generation where there is anarchy everywhere, mm -hmm. people, the, the IQ people have is to attack people, mm -hmm. is to complain. But that's not what is going to bring us together. Amen. That's right. What is going to bring us together is the anointing like Solomon's, mm -hmm. where you are strategically thinking about the things of God, thinking about the family. Can you imagine a rich man? Huh? Not the poor person. Some of us, it takes us years to build a house. We build a small, small. Mm -hmm. But Solomon is the king of Israel. All the gold, the diamond, everything, people working for him. But it's taking this man 13 years to build. So you can imagine what he's building. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we have three bedrooms and we think we have arrived. Mm -hmm. Four bedrooms, we think we have And it's not even paid off. But this wealth, this rich man, God has assigned him to build a, a what? A temple. And he's taking him seven years. He said, I want 
the, 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 the timber to come from Lebanon. Yes. He said, exporting quality to come and build. Yeah. The Bible said when he was even building, you would not even hear hammering, mm. noise. No. You see, they, they were given an IQ, creative mind, to lay the foundation and build it quietly. Mm -hmm. May God bring calmness into your life. Yes. May God bring joy to your life. Yes. Whatever you are doing this season, do it with, with ease. Yes. May you not wrestle building. May you not wrestle raising your children. May you not wrestle in your marriage. May you not wrestle no more in ministry. May everything be still and calm in the mighty name of Jesus. And at that point in time, let everything come together. May you not be competing with others that prove to us you have nothing to prove to anybody. When God is giving you a timetable, use God's timetable. In the name of Jesus, affliction will come. They have afflicted Jesus Christ. So people don't want us to mention the name of Jesus Christ, but the question is that they have a, Jesus Christ just came to just tell us a story, mm -hmm. just to reveal to us. If you don't reject, if you if you don't if you don't believe this story, you will not believe the story of your mother. You will not be sensitive to your mother, your husband, your father. You will not be sensitive to your wife. You will take them for granted. You will abuse them. You will cheat them. Mm. Jesus Christ came to tell us that this life is your own life. The children are your own children. They are your security at all age. If you don't give them love, stand in the gap for them, raise them right at the end of the day. It's your own piece of what? It's your own burden. Yes. May there not be any burden yes. in our lives no more. He yes. said, ask and I shall give you. Yes. Then he comes to Matthew 7, ask and I shall give you. Mm. You understand? So it is, these principles have been dead before we were born. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. And then let's go to 9. Uh, verse 9 says, yeah. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people, that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to govern this, your great people? It, it pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this, and God said to him, because you have asked this, and I have not asked for yourself long life or riches or the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right. Behold, I now do according to your word. Behold, I give you a wise and discerning mind, so that none like you has been before, and also, uh, just before, and none like you shall arise after you. I give you also what you have not asked, but riches and honor, so that no other king shall compare with you all your days. And if you will walk in my ways, keeping my statutes and my commandments, as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. There is more to it. Mm -hmm. You see, there is more to this life. Yes. When you start working it without expectation, doing the right thing, the day God will come and ask you, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. Why do you keep showing up? Why do you care so much? Why do you love people so much? Why are you always praying for other people? Amen. Why are you always giving the last that you have? Why are you doing The day God will ask you that question and you answer right, mm -hmm. the, the second, third, and fourth generation of your lineage will never be afflicted, Amen. will never suffer. May that be your mindset. Let that be our mindset. If you have suffered, you are a candidate. Mm. If you have always stood in the gap for your family, your children, always trying to feed them, always trying to provide for them, always trying to clothe them, I pray that your attitude for doing it is not to show off, but to say that it's an assignment yes. that yes. God has given me to do. Yes. That even if they are insulting you, you know that you are waiting for God to ask you, what do you want? Yes. If they are rejecting you, you are still waiting for the day God will ask you, what do you want in return for this? Mm. You have labored for the church. You have sacrificed for the church. And they are looking at you some way as a pastor. Mm. They are looking at you as a young man of God, trying to do right, trying to grow and help other people. And they are looking at you some way. But keep looking at Christ. Amen. One of these days, you will knock on your door. On your door. One of these days, he will visit you in your sleep and he will ask you this question, my Solomon. And I pray that you will not settle for material things. Mm -hmm. 
He said, because you have asked for understanding, he's a young king. And he said, you know what? <laughs> All these people, Israel is under my care. How do I govern complex people like this? How do I deal with people who fought my father? How do I deal with people who disrespected my mother because he took somebody's husband? How do I deal with people like this? There are a lot of people around me that they don't like me, they don't trust me, they just want me to fall so that they will tell the story that look at who David has chosen. Yes. God, I need understanding. Yes, Lord. There is more to it. I need understanding. It's just a word. Understanding of what? Mm -hmm. To understand, you need information. Yes. Who will give you the information? God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said, I need understanding. So he's telling God, I need information. There is more to this seat that I'm sitting on. Mm -hmm. There is more to this building of these mansions and temple. There is more to having a church. I need information. Yes. Solomon says, I need information. Mm -hmm. When you need, if, when you have information, what else do you need? You need interpretation of information. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you are sitting on information. You have the vision, you have the dream, but you cannot interpret the information that you have. You are sitting as a student in the exam hall. The question is there. You have studied, the question is there, but you don't understand the question. So you don't understand the question, you cannot answer the question. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God give you revelation. May God give you information in the name of Jesus. He doesn't stop there. He said, he said what? Now you need how to execute the information. In other words, how to apply the information. Today, our generation, the way things are shifting, we are shifting to application. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You have to work from home. You see? Uh -huh. You have to apply the thing. So you are working from home, it's, uh, it's, it's an opportunity to be yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an opportunity to bring what you know to the table. Yes. You are not in an environment where you are saying, where are you doing? Do this, type this, do it this way. No, you are now free. To be who God says you are. Amen. This is where we, this is the generation we are finding ourselves. There is a greater grace that is coming upon the land. Mm. There is the, the liberty grace that is God is releasing. Mm. There is the freedom grace that God is releasing. And I pray that you will not be hijacked by strange winds. Yes. I pray that you will not be hijacked by strange doctrines. Yes. I pray that you will not be hijacked by whispers, yes. accusers. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. naysayers. Wherever you are this afternoon, in the name of Amen. Jesus, Amen. let the grace and the wind of liberty yes. overtake you and surround you, yes. that you begin to do things and, and do it in joy and peace, yes. in the mighty name of yes. Jesus. He said, because you have not asked for material things, I will give you. Amen. Why? I will be there with you. He said, God said, I will be present. <laughs> it is the present that we need. Amen. You understand? Understanding, the knowledge of understanding is the spirit of God. Mm. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye the kingdom of heaven first and his yes. word, righteousness. So these things are not strange. There are some people biblically, they will come and argue with you. Mm. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in the New Testament. These things are not new. The New Testament is not new. It's a, it's, it's a duplication of what is in what? The Old Testament is the revelation yes. of the Old Testament yes. that is in the New Testament. Yes. Did I live 30, 30 years ago or, or 300 years ago? No. Yeah, 30 years ago I was here. <laughs> but there were so many things that I didn't understand. <laughs> 2,000 years ago was I here? Why do I carry a narrative as if I lived 3,000 years ago? <laughs> Meanwhile, those who lived 3,000 years ago, they labored, they prayed a prayer that today, those who come will have it easy. Amen. You understand? Yeah. So why should I be stuck in the past? When you are stuck in the past, you are rebellious. You fight everything that is even good. Your child wants to do something, you are stuck in the old. You say, no, 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 no. You want your child to be like you. Mm -hmm. You want the child to go through the same pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. But today, anything that has hijacked you, yeah. for you to hijack your children, the next generation, yeah. I pray that you will be set free. Yeah. 
free. May you be set free. Say, I am free. I am free. In the name of Jesus. Say, any information that I have processed, that has hijacked me, oh Lord, oh Lord, by prayer, in the name of Jesus, let me be free. Set my family free. Set my mind free. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it, put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. How do you put your hands together for, for, for the Lord? Just hit the like or the love button. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus Christ. We are learning something great. Amen. Amen. God was so pleased with Solomon. Mm -hmm. God was what? So pleased with yes. Solomon. Yes. But he gave him one condition. And he said, if you will walk in my ways, verse 14, mm -hmm. to keep my statutes and my commandments, mm -hmm. yes. as your father David did walk, then I will lengthen your days. Yes. Longevity. Yes. You see, there are conditions, there are deeper things that are hidden for us to live long. Mm -hmm. There are deeper things that are hidden for us to prosper. Yes. There are deeper things for us to discover, to build the church, right. to keep the church, to cover the church, mm -hmm. to let the church be the church of Christ. Yes. It is not the name that we put on the church. Mm -hmm. It is not the name. It is what we do in the church. It is what we do for the people. Yeah. It is what we stand. Yes. It is what we allow God to do. Mm -hmm. The church is I will build my church and the gate of hell will not prevail against it. Amen. I will build my family. Okay? So you, young woman, who is sitting there waiting for to marry somebody so that you can control the husband, that's not the will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Young man waiting to marry somebody and manipulate abuse, that's not God. We have destroyed our families. We have destroyed the church. The church is human beings, people. Mm -hmm. So any doctrine that divides families, that causes divorce mm -hmm. in the church, in your family today, mm -hmm. let it be destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. Sure. In the name of Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, sure. Anything that afflicts, that becomes a burden yeah. today, let it come to an end. Yeah. To an end. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now let, he said, if you walk the way your father walked, mm -hmm. that he lived so long, he never lost a battle. There was a team around him yeah. fighting his battles when he was weak. Those who rose within him, trying to unseat him, trying to mock him, there was a team that stood in the gap for him. Amen. If we walk with Christ Jesus Christ, those who gang up on you on the job, before you even show up, somebody from their camp will come and tell you that be careful because this is what they are plotting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be careful. This is what they are plotting. If I were you, I would be careful about this person. If I were you, I'll come to work on time. If I were you, I'll submit my assignment on time. Mm -hmm. If they are giving you things that can neutralize their schemes, you know that God is with you. Amen. I pray that any agenda on the job, yeah. mm -hmm. any agenda <laughs> in your health, yeah, in your yeah, finance, yeah, in your children, yeah, in your marriage, yeah, at the yeah, church, yeah. let it be exposed. Yeah, let those who have been hired, yeah. let those who have been hired and hijacked yeah. in the name of Jesus to yeah. afflict you and I this season. We pray in the name of Jesus, their powers will be neutralized. Yeah. Yeah. Wherever they are hiding, we expose them yeah. in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ yeah. of Nazareth. Yeah. May you be empowered. Yeah. He said, if we walk in the statute of the Lord, yeah. God said, like your father, he said, I will be with you. Yes. I will lengthen your days. Yes. The Bible said the other day, he came down and he said that if you honor your mother and father, mm -hmm. some of us, we don't have mom and dad no more. They are going to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when I'm even praying and say, my father, my mother, I am praying for you. Mm. I am teaching you that, look, if you are blessed to have a father and mother, mm -hmm. pray that God, how do I deal with my father? How do I deal with my mother? Sometimes I cannot stand them. Because sometimes anyone who wants to bless you, sometimes it's not all of them that are nice. It's not all of them that will pamper you. You see, sometimes the blessing come, there are different types of blessings. There are some blessings that come after the work. There are some blessings that come, but later you have to do the work. So there are some people who are mean to us, but they will bless us. There are some people you can't stand, but they have information for you. If you, if you fire them, you are, you are done. You have to keep them, but you have to deal with your pride and ego. Because if you fire them, if you let them go out of your life, there will be a delay. And if God is not merciful to you for somebody to come later on, 
You see that sometimes you get old, your teeth are all removed, and now you have money to chew meat. Mm. By the time your teeth is there, you are poor. Mm. Let there be a reverse. reverse. Let the struggle be over. Be over. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Look at verse 16 to 27. Just really quickly as we come to an end. Okay. 16 to 27 says, Then two prostitutes came to the king and stood before him. Mm -hmm. The one woman said, O oh my Lord, this woman and I live in the same house, and I gave birth to a child while she was in the house. Mm -hmm. Then on the third day after I gave birth, this woman also gave birth. And we were and we were alone. There was no one with us in the house. Only only we two were in the house. And this woman's son died in the night because she lay on him. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while your servant slept and laid him at her breast and laid her dead son at my breast. When I rose in the morning to nurse my child, behold, he was dead. But the, but when I looked at him closely in the morning, behold, he was not the child that I had born. But the other woman said, No, the living child is mine and the dead child is yours. The first said, No, the child is yours, and the living child is mine. Thus they spoke before the king. Then the king said, The one says, This is my son that is alive, and your son is dead. And the other says, No, but your son is dead, and my son is the living one. And the king said, Bring me a sword. So a sword was brought before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half to the one and half to the other. Then the woman whose son was alive said to the king, Because her heart yearned for her son, O oh my lord, Give her the living child, and by no means put him to death. But the other said, He shall neither be mine nor yours. Divide him. The king answered and said, Give the living child to the first woman, and by no means put him to death. She is his mother. Hallelujah. There is more to it. Amen. The reason for the gifts, the reason for the breakthrough money, the reason for the grace God has given you, it's not for you to just sit and show off. That's right. Somebody with a need. Amen. Somebody with 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 burden, crying and weeping will approach you. Amen. God will send somebody to come and be what? Be blessed by the gift he has given you. David was a generous man. David was a giver. You see? David stood in. David was a small boy, but when he hears there is a trouble. For his family, his nation, David shows up. Amen. Amen? Amen? Because he was gifted to fight and win all battles. Mm -hmm. Bear, lion, he's a fighter. When he comes to fight, he's there. Mm -hmm. He's fighting. He's even trying to, okay, so please, oh, please, let me fight this guy. Mm -hmm. Please, let me fight him. Yes. Please, don't, don't, I don't need your armor. I don't need your sword. I can fight this guy. I have the Lord. You see, the Lord is, is on my side. Amen. You see, the presence of the Lord, can't you see him? Can't you see the glory of the Lord? Oh my God, they can't see. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 6, 10 says that. Mm -hmm. you, Matthew 13, mm -hmm. Jesus is saying it. But there's a young boy who has the eye of the Lord, mm -hmm. who sees the presence of the Lord, who sees the rain of, of, of the cloud of God, the, mm -hmm. the cloud that brings rain. It was the same eye that Elijah had, that Elijah could see a cloud that brings rain. May your eyes be open. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Let my spiritual eye let my spiritual be, over. be over. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let my, my, my spiritual eye be, 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 be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. What would you ask? Just ask God. Let my spiritual eye be open. Amen. What are you asking Lord? So that when you even show up at the place where bacteria, various are, your spiritual eyes is open and you can tell where they are. Yes. The person carrying it. Yes. The person who has been assigned as an assassin to come and assassinate you, you will know. The person who will be sent to the church to come and bring you down and afflict the church, you will know. Yes. May your spiritual eye, our spiritual eye be open. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So there is deeper dimension of the grace God has given you so don't, don't relax. Yes. Because this is the first test. Mm -hmm. We are still in First Kings chapter number 3. Mm -hmm. After wisdom is given, mm -hmm. then two prostitutes came to Solomon. Mm -hmm. Two prostitutes yes. came to Solomon. They have a baby. One had a son today. Three days later, the other one also had a child. Mm -hmm. And they live in the same house. Mm -hmm. And then one person carelessly slept on her child. And the child died. Yeah. And what she did was switch the dead child and gave that child to her friend and to the, 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 the friend's right. son. Mm -hmm. Those who switch mm -hmm. when you are asleep, 
In Matthew 13, at night, when they were asleep, the enemy came and switched. In 1 Kings chapter number 3, at night, when the woman was asleep, her own friend switched. So the gifts, the calling, the anointing you have is for people who need it. Sometimes it's not for you. The anointing is not for you. What can help you is when you work, you work in the, in the, the instructions of God. The anointing is without repentance. So you can use the anointing for people. Yes. You can study and teach people. People will get testimony. But you see that you are bound. The only way you can be free is when you obey God. Mm -hmm. When you disobey God, God can punish you. But God can still let you do the work. Mm -hmm. He will not fire you. Mm -hmm. But you see that you are wrestling. May, you, may we go back to the first law. Yes. The Bible said they, they, they switched. And they have the audacity to go to the king. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Prostitutes. People who work on the streets. Mm -hmm. Carelessly kill somebody. Mm -hmm. Now you are going to the police station. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. You can be arrested for being a prostitute in the first place. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now there is a murder case. You are going to the police station. Double, you are going to kill Solomon. Double jeopardy. Double jeopardy. <laughs> right? <laughs> They have the gut. May God give you confidence and boldness. Amen. Anything that is yours that somebody is trying to snatch, yeah. may you petition Christ, yeah. petition God, yeah. and let there be a reverse. A reverse. May you recover that which the enemy is trying to steal or yeah. has stolen yeah. from your family. Yeah. May you recover. Yeah. Say, I recover. I recover. I recover. I recover. I recover. I recover. In the name of Jesus. Name Say, of Jesus. I recover. 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 In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. They approach and now they started making the case before they came. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. They started making the case before they came. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says what? The king looked at them. Mm -hmm. And the verdict was that divide. Yes. Divide. Mm -hmm. Take the living child. Mm -hmm. Cut the child mm -hmm. into two. Give one to this woman. Give the other to the other woman. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Divide the living child. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. The dead child is there and the living child is there. Mm -hmm. So Solomon is saying that kill, so it means that all of them should die. Literally, mm -hmm. that's what it means. Yep. Yep. Today, when you want to set or test the spirit, you see how we manifest. We manifest in such a way that we don't understand the things of God. Mm. You understand? Somebody says, I want, I, want, I want to be used by God mightily. When you, the first assignment you give the person, the interpretation and the attitude of the work will tell you that this person is so shallow. Mm. But there is more to it. Yes. And then the woman who killed her child said, you know what? Go ahead and kill the child. Yeah. Yeah. Those who lose mm -hmm. and want you to lose, mm -hmm. that's the, the, the spirit they carry. That's right. mm -hmm. They lose, so they also want you to lose. Yes. They fail, so they also want you to fail. That's right. You know, everybody's going through it. Yep. You know, all women are the same. Yep. You know, they are all like that. All men are like that. You see, that's the generalization. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous. We are all not the same. That's right. All men are not the same. All churches are not the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the truth. All churches are not the same. Every church has a grace. Mm -hmm. Every church what has a grace. And all men of God are not the same. Mm -hmm. Some are genuine, some are not genuine. That's right. mm -hmm. There are genuine women, they are, they are fake women. Mm -hmm. Genuine men, gen fake men. Yes. They are called strange children, strange doctrines. Mm -hmm. They are all there. But God is telling us today that don't concentrate on the strange ones. Don't concentrate on the strange doctrines. Mm -hmm. You can't do this. You can't go here. You can't talk like this. You can't. Don't concentrate on those ones. Concentrate on the statue. When I reveal myself to you in the dream, what did I tell you? Mm -hmm. What did I tell you? Mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you don't do this? Mm -hmm. didn't, I, didn't I reveal to you why I gave birth to you? Like the Jeremiah said, before you were clothed in your mother's womb. You see, the greater ones sometimes, they don't know who they are. Hmm. They just think that this pain 
this suffering. I must go to work. I must provide. But they don't know that God is training them. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah is working on the farm. Pushing. Mm -hmm. Farming. And the angel of the Lord appeared. Mm -hmm. Gideon, minding his own business. Mm -hmm. Man of valor. God even gave him powerful definition of who he was. Mm -hmm. He said, you are a man of valor. I said, hey, me. Mm -hmm. Man of valor. Do you not take the title of God or definition of God when God has not revealed to you? Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You can't take a title. They say those who desire to be bishops. It's a desire. Mm. But prophets are born. But as a child, you know that you are a prophet. When you are coming up, you know you are. And you also know the type of prophet you are. There are different types of prophets. Mm. Different types of prophets. Which one are you? Which one are you? So don't try to be the one that you are not. Oh, amen. You understand? Yep. Don't try to be the one that you are not. You are a pastor, but what type of pastor are you? Mm -hmm. Don't try to be the one that you are not. Mm -hmm. You are a woman. What type of a woman are you? Don't try to be the one that you are not. Am I making sense to you? Mm -hmm. Don't try to be all over the place. No. I love the old prophets. And I still love some of the prophets that we have in our generation. Because they don't talk until God says they should talk. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that can numb you as a man of God, a woman of God, is that when you want to talk and respond to everything. Mm. If you are not careful, they will, they will make you weak. Because the Bible said the other day, when they, they, they protect Jesus Christ all the time. Mm -hmm. Physically, you cannot get closer to the man. Mm -hmm. We know this when the children were coming closer to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. the, the disciples tried to prevent the kids. Mm -hmm. And they said, let them come. The other day, the Bible said the woman with the issue of blood, right? Mm -hmm. She was able to sneak in and touch, not Jesus, mm -hmm. just a tip of the garment. Yeah. And Jesus felt it and said, who has touched me? Mm -hmm. Because there are some people who are assigned to guide him. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, <laughs> how do we know? All these people around you, mm -hmm. touch, just a touch. Mm -hmm. Physically, they can't touch you because physically we are around you. Mm -hmm. Who are you even protecting? Are you protecting your wife? Mm -hmm. Are you protecting your husband? Mm -hmm. Who do you? Why don't you protect your family? Why don't you stand in the gap for your family? Mm -hmm. The disciples, you see how they were trained. They were trained physically to protect Jesus Christ. The day he was being arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, the Bible said Peter took a knife and cut off somebody's ear. Mm -hmm. So physically they were protective. Mm -hmm. Spiritually they were there. Mm -hmm. At the same time they were asking, discerning questions to get revelation because there is more to it mm -hmm. following jesus christ is one thing mm -hmm. protecting him is, is another thing knowing why you are following is another thing getting the grace the benefits the presence of god the anointing of god is another thing and now being at the time and the season to operate in the gate is another thing and being able to resist temptation is another thing being able to fight battles with the anointing is another thing. Okay. Solomon received a gift. Mm -hmm. And before he could get up, his, his gift is being tempted. Mm -hmm. His gift is being tested. Mm -hmm. And people who were not scholars, mm -hmm. elite, beautiful women, they were street, they were hawkers, they came to Solomon. Some of us, we have built churches that of class, of race. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. You have built a church, you have selected those who will come to your church. Mm. And when some kind of people come to the church, you don't pay attention to them. Mm. You don't pay attention to them. No. Learn from Solomon today. Mm. That Solomon, a worthy, rich man who is building a church for God, is taking seven years, ordering you know, materials from all over the world to build. Marry Pharaoh's daughter, princess. Mm. It's humble to the point that she will, he will have time for prostitute. Mm. Humble to the point that he will allow this prostitute to come to the palace. That he will have time. Bring all the counsel, the wise people to listen to these people. Now here is the test. Mm. The test is that kill the child. Mm. And you see the, the killer woman so I killed the child. Mm -hmm. and the woman who knew that that was a child said, my Lord, mm -hmm. please, don't kill. Mm -hmm. 
the child. Let the child live. One day when the child grows, he will be a blessing to all of us. Mm. You see wisdom? That was the same thing King Solomon asked God. Mm -hmm. Can I say that again? Mm -hmm. The wisdom, the revelation the woman captured was the same revelation that Solomon captured. The deeper things, mm -hmm. the mystery, mm -hmm. the coding mystery, taking something that is nothing and making something out of it. Mm -hmm. Taking something that is broken and say, give me that one. You see, when the anointing comes, you take the foolish things. Mm -hmm. When the anointing and the timing comes, you are not, uh, you are not worried where they send you. Mm -hmm. You are not worried about who comes to you. You know how to fix things. Mm -hmm. When our cars break, and we told the car to the, to the mechanic. They said, pick it up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They fix it. The church must be a church that fixes things. That's right. And Solomon said, the child belongs to you. Mm -hmm. Take the child mm -hmm. and walk away. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, all Israel, the whole world heard about the wisdom that God has given Solomon. Mm -hmm. And then God blessed him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If we take the side of God, if we do what God wants us to do, people will hear about you. They will not hear about you in negative ways. They will hear about you in positive ways. Mm -hmm. May we follow mm -hmm. the principles, mm -hmm. the instructions, mm -hmm. the love of God. Yes. From Genesis to Revelation, there is nothing that is conflict. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that does not reinforce what God said in Genesis number one. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand it, don't think that God has departed from you. God is not with us. Your job is to ask. Be a student. And God will reveal to you. God bless you. I hope this word has imparted you. Yeah. Has given you a new mindset. Yes. That there is more to it, yes. and there's only only God. There's only God mm -hmm. who can reveal to you. Mm -hmm. May God be on our side. Yes. May God be on your side. Yes. May God bless you. Yes. May God reveal to you. Yes. May God give you resources. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we are Ancient Chapel PA. We are here in the city of Redding PA. Yes. If you are around here and you want to follow us, uh, we have Facebook uh, platform. You can connect with us, Action Chapel Pennsylvania. We have a prayer line uh, number. Uh, uh, you, if you are on the Facebook, uh, Facebook, our Facebook page, all those informations are there. If you want to uh, be a blessing to us, or we'll give you a link uh, below. Action Chapel P. God loves you. We love you so very much. Amen. We can't. We can't wait to see you. Amen. Amen. You are a blessing. You are one of a kind. God is building you for great things. You are the one who God is using to change your family change your city. Amen. It's nobody else. Stop pointing fingers at others. Stop blaming your father, your mother. You are the one. You are the Solomon of your generation. Hallelujah. You are that woman who saw good and said, I will not let bad take my good. I will petition. Who did he petition? The king. Who do we petition? Jesus Christ. Amen. He's a great intercessor. Yes. He's the one who reveals. He's the one whose blood was shed. He's the one who makes reference to the blood, to the Father, that whatever we have done against God, God should forgive us. Amen. Just like the days of Abel. The blood of Abel cried to God and God responded. Hallelujah. May God bless you yes. until I come your way again. May, may you take care of yourself. Be safe. Amen. Amen. And we want to give a big shout out to our Bishop, Bishop Kibio too. Amen. And all the pastors in ACI North America, we love you and we salute uh, our Papa, uh, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, and my brothers who are here with me today, Pastor Justice, mm -hmm. uh, Minister Mike, uh, Rafi, and, uh, and uh, Adrian. Amen. Amen. God bless all of you until Thursday. Mm -hmm. Connect connect and be safe and then Bishop Kwesi we also we also greet you amen, amen. hallelujah amen. bye bye let's share the grace together may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen amen, amen. 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 Shalom, shalom shalom bye bye